Hey, and welcome back to the very last part, I think, of Blank Dream. Um, in this one, I'm actually gonna try to get the good end or the best ending, actually. So, actually, I'm not going in the right direction right now. I'm sorry if I sound really sick. I think I'm getting sick. So, there you go. And also, I just woke up. So, that's like the worst combo ever. But I wanted to film this. So, to get the best ending, we must show Ryotaro and Yuzu all of their mirrors. But first, there is someone else's mirror in this place that I want to see. It has no effect on the ending, but I still want to see it. So looking closely, there's a ladder in the fireplace. Let's descend. Ooh, we got a marvelous painting. We're going to take it. Surprised by the thickness of the frame. A night portrait. And there are metal fixtures to display something on. And there's a marvelous suit of armor that is the knight. And a marvelous shield. And there's... This. That was not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So, even though we got the knight portrait, we're not actually supposed to put the portrait in there. But rather, we're supposed to put the western sword. I don't know why. But you know what? I guess it makes sense. That's what the knight would actually want. <laughs> Not a portrait. Okay, and now what do I do? So we got the shield and the sword. That's a good combo. And now apparently we can safely enter the door. So let's do it. Ooh. The mirror shows someone's reflection. It's certainly not her, yet Mishiro felt she could see in. She could see in? Okay. Well, that girl looks pretty. I think it's a girl. <laughs> Let's look in it. Thirteen years ago, an inn. All that talk about taking a trip together. So this was your goal. Trips are necessary for resting your body and mind, you know. And the kids seem to have fun today, too. They're snoozing away now. A good thing for you, isn't it? So, Tamaki, won't you consider it? Drop it, please. Utsuro is my child. But Seichi has told me that how you've been seeing the shadow of your father in Utsuro lately. Seichi, you told him that? Sorry, but you've looked so frayed lately. He knows the situation, so I just thought I should talk to him about it. Tamaki, the biggest load on your mind, it's art, isn't it? Utsuro is eight now. From now on, she's going to be drawing more at school. How about leaving Utsuro with your mother until she's old enough to take this calmly? It'll be fine. If I, her mother, can't protect her, then who will? I suppose you're right, Tamaki. But it feels like you'll collapse at this rate. What will happen to Ayato then? Oh. Is that Ayato's sister? Nobody's perfect. You don't need to carry everything alone. Especially considering your burdens are much heavier than most. But still. I still want to hold out. I don't want to break up this family of four. Of four? So maybe it's not Ayato's sister. I don't really know, I'm not sure. Tamaki. Shinji, Chika. I'll support Tamaki as much as I can. Let me try just a little longer. Seichi. If the two of you insist, then I won't stop you. But just keep in mind, Tamaki. You've already put in plenty of toil. So at least stop before he does you in. Right. Huh. Not sure what that was all about. Though it wasn't clear, Mishiro looked into the mirror. She could tell it was not her mirror, and yet... Yep, well... <laughs> I guess that's it. Um, I don't really know... Whose mirror that was, maybe... But would it be just a coincidence that Ayato's name would be there? Like, I don't... I don't know. 
Um, I'll reread that, and I'll, I don't know, I'll try to figure it out. But, uh, that was weird. Hmm. Interesting. So, now we're gonna go to another mirror, and I learned that uh, the presence of teddy bears actually indicate that there's a mirror uh, really close, so that's a thing. So, next up is the realm of love for Yuzu's second mirror. So, I think it's the room on the far right that I never... I don't know if I, I ever went to it, actually. I, I think I actually forgot, so... Can I take that? Hmm. Nah. Whatever. That's okay. Ooh. This is... Weird. What are all those stairs? <laughs> oh! There's a teddy bear over here. Um... Okay, then. Wh what are these? Oh, so apparently I'm supposed to weaken the lantern so that I'll be able to see the actual directions. So, let's try this out. I think it's supposed to be this one, but I don't know why. Oh wait, maybe the directions are, like, written. Yeah, they are. Good. Top left. Top left on the right, bottom left on the left. What? <laughs> <laughs> top left on the right, bottom left on the left. Top left on the right, bottom left on the left. Um, is that it? I don't know. Is this it? It's not. Okay, I'm lost. Okay, I found it. It was, uh, completely left. Alright, so here we are. And... The mirror shows Yuzu's reflection. It doesn't seem to change. Yep. So, we're gonna go tell her. Right away. Okay. What? One of my mirrors? Whoa. Two in such a short time. Leave me there right away. If we're together, even those realms won't scare me. Okay, Yuzu. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna lead you to your mirror. I wonder what we're gonna learn next about her, because I have absolutely no idea. Um, I am using like a walkthrough to figure out where I need to go exactly, because it's a lot easier. But um, I don't actually know what we're gonna see, so yeah, I'm excited about that. Also, I'm not really sure what I have to do about the last mirror of Yuzu's, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Okay, think I'm getting used to this now. This mirror's got my past, my memories. You know, I'm thinking surely they show memories with something to do with my wish. If looking in the mirrors might tell me my wish, I'm excited, but a little scared at the same time. Hmm. Seven years ago, Mirror Lake. Ha. Ha. Pretty sunset, huh? Utsuro? Wait. Utsuro, Ayato, those are the names in the previous thing. And Ayato is the name of my friend. All of this is linked. Ha! Huh. That is Utsuro. Oh. Sunset is a witching hour. This moment's beauty comes from it being when the sun dies. Even though we see the sun for 12 hours a day, we always forget its beauty. Hmm, I guess. But I like the sun in the day too. You're positive about everything, Yuzu. It's been a year getting to know Tsuro. I still haven't been able to tell her how I feel, but we're together as best friends a bunch. Of course, I still like her romantically, but just spending time together, period, is nice. Twilight is a vacuous thing. It's neither day nor night, and people spend it preparing for the coming nights. Twilight isn't watched and enjoyed, it's just empty and hollow, much like my name. <laughs> I wonder what her name means. Is the sunset making you sentimental? I think it's a great name. A great name? I hate it. 
to be called hollow, it feels more like a denial of my existence. So that's what it means. Hmm, but I like how it feels all translucent. It matches your mysterious air too. Is that right? You know, Yuzu, I'm a person who shouldn't exist in this world. Huh? What's this now? Just the fact I'm alive is a mistake. My existence is a cluster of sin. You mean like original sin? Did you ever tell me you were a Christian, Utsuro? I don't mean anything like that. In a more concrete way, I should not exist. I don't get what you're saying, Utsuro. I mean, isn't shouldn't exist really extreme? We get along so well. If you didn't exist, what would I do? If, hypothetically, I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. I could only blankly listen to Utsuro, whose words felt so disconnected from reality. It was as if Utsuro saw something different, and I couldn't perceive things the same way. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I remember. Even as I got closer to her, Utsuro was a strange girl, though that was charming in a way. Most of my memories of Utsuro are back now, and now I know these are important memories to me. I still can't remember up to my death, but it seems I've remembered some things precious to Yuzu Hanasaki. And it's thanks to you, Mishiro. Really, thanks a lot. Oh, I know, take this. Got a mystery key? I picked that up earlier, but I don't know how to use it. I'm sure it'll be useful to you somewhere. Maybe. Okay, let's return. Tell me if there's anything else. Alright. I'm gonna save and we're gonna keep going. Okay, so next is the Realm of Blood, and that is for Ryotaro's second mirror. Um, it says that to get the best ending, you need to do the... You need to show both of those characters to all of their mirrors, but I don't really know how to show them their third mirror at the same time, because apparently that's where you kind of... Um, that That's where the ending gets changed so i i don't know how that will happen but see there's a teddy bear here and here if you go up apparently we will find ryotaro's mirror yes there we go okay interesting we're gonna save and the mirror it shows ryotaro's reflection doesn't seem to change so, we're gonna take him there. Hmm? You found another mirror? Can they truly be found so quickly? Alright then, let's go. Sorry to trouble you, but leave me there. Alright. Yotaro, I still don't know what to think of you, but I mean... <laughs> we'll see what comes up next. Okay, yeah. Well. Let's go. Okay, almost there. Keep it up, Ryotaro. And here we are. They really can't do anything by themselves. <laughs> They're so bad. Now, now, what will be in it this time? Can't imagine what will come up, even though it's about me. I wonder if the return of a new memory were to totally invert my present personality. That may well be the same as death. No jokes about how I'm <laughs> no jokes about how I'm already dead, please. Yeah. One year ago, a company. Doors. Should we get going, Sengoku? Yep. Are you worn out, sir? Yeah, trouble at home lately. At home? Ugh. Is sis up to something again? She has seemed upset lately. Oh, so that's her sister's husband? Possibly? No, not that. Well, it's not the kind of thing you tell people about, but you're not a stranger. See, my old man's inheritance is proving to be kind of a mess. The inheritance of a famed artist, hey, eh? I'll bet it's a lot. Huh, but didn't your father pass away last year? Why is it only a problem now? Actually, it's been trouble ever since then. I'm the eldest son, but the will says everything should go to someone else, except they're refusing it. That said, they won't even give it to me, so it's up in the air. What was the old man thinking? That really does sound messy. With money, you should always follow the law. That's what I intend to do. Soon, I'll get a lawful interpretation at a suitable place. 
but this taking up all my time, I didn't realize how I've been hardly talking to my daughter lately. This is a delicate time for her, too. This is no good. As her father, I should... C calm down, sir. Are you okay? Right, sorry. I should at least do my job properly. I know, Sengoku. Will you come over to our house later? Uh-huh, to your house, sir. I'm sure it'll take her mind off it to talk with our brother. And if you could, talk to my daughter like a good uncle. Y your daughter, you say? There's been some trouble. She's been retreating into her shell lately. She doesn't have many friends at school. I feel like she needs some new relationships. Well, I wonder if a clumsy fellow like me could have a good talk with her. Ha, <laughs> it's fine. You're a good guy. I'm sure somebody like you's the guy to help my glum daughter. It's pathetic, as can be, that we're too busy with money to tend her, but this is important. We can't ignore it. Alright then, if my brother-in-law insists, how can I refuse? Sorry. Hey, wait, have you seen her before? Uh, the cute young lady in your New Year's cards, right? Ah, uh, right. I wouldn't mind taking some time to brag about her, but it's time. There's work to be done, yes. Okay, now let's go. The West Building, right? Yep. Okay. So, he's gonna go to her to his sister's house, even though his sister doesn't really like him because he liked his daughter a little too much. Ah, <laughs> uh, I remember. I see, Mr. Oh, you're... Shinji Yusui. No doubt, he was my boss and brother-in-law. Though at the moment, I can't recall if I ever did meet you in person while I was alive. That's what I thought. Oh my god, this is... Everyone is related. They seem like trivial memories, but I feel they relate to my death and wish. Many holes remain, but I've remembered a fair bit. Couldn't have done it without your effort. Ah, I've got something. Here. Mishiro got a mystery key. I picked it up on a rare walk around this world. No point in me having it. I'm sure you'll make a better use. Now, no more to do in this eerie place. Be sure to let me know if you find another mirror. Yep. I will. Okay. So now we're at the point where we got um, all three... Well, their third mirror left to find. Okay, so apparently Yuzu's third event is in the realm of death somewhere. And it is... Oh no, it's where I got the matches. Oh no. Tell me the spirits aren't here anymore. Huh. I think they actually might be gone. So... That's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Um, okay, so where I got the matches, and there's a door, maybe? Oh, there's a fireplace. Okay, so should I try to strengthen my lantern? Maybe? Okay. Yeah, descend. Um, I'm supposed to not open the door yet, though, I think. So... Huh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go back up and find Ryotaro's place and see what happens, I guess. So Ryotaro's room is in the realm of beauty and it is in the black paint room, which I'm not sure where that was. Um, so I'm gonna need to try... Oh yeah, it was in here, right? With the water and stuff. Yeah, so many fireplaces. <laughs> Let's descend. Okay, so let's go down. Um, I don't know if I need to go in there now or not. Okay, so I do need to go inside. But there, there are some characters that I can talk to. I think that's what it is. I am going to save somewhere else though, <laughs> just in case. Oh, wait, let's view it. Cute. Okay, it shows you that it was reflection. Let's get him. Oh, that's kind of tedious, though. <laughs> Seriously. All right, Yotaro. What? Another of my mirrors? The third one. I sense big things coming. All right, then let's go. Sorry to trouble you, but leave me there. Okay, Yotaro, let's go. That's weird, though, because Mishiro was literally 
the person he thought was cute, so that's kind of weird. But let's go see what this last memory is all about. A bit different from the other mirrors, strange place too, reaching the critical moment perhaps. You walk to this place by yourself? Boy, you're strong, I mean, I mean it deeply. But strength isn't the same as never fatiguing. No, save it for later. First, to look at this mirror. Okay. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, she just looks like you when you were a kid, but at the same time, much too cute for that. <laughs> it's fine, you're a good guy. I'm sure somebody like you is just the guy to help my glum daughter. Yeah, these are all sentences that have been said before. Okay, now let's go. The West Building, right? Gah, the smoke's already up to this floor. Oh, there's a fire. It's no good. The stairs are too hot to approach. Cruel fate. Will it end like this, without anything resolved in my family? I'm sorry, Tika. Mishiro. So I'll never get to meet Mishiro. I'm sure she'll go to be far prettier than Sis. I really wanted to have that chance. He actually did meet me. <laughs> it's really not anything, anything lewd. I just see such beauty there. Welp. Died in a fire, huh? I've remembered it all. How I died, my wish, and all the rest. I see now. Admirable tenacity, if I do say so myself. I'm a bit tired. Feels like more information overload than the previous mirrors were. Once I've got it sorted out, I'll talk about things to do with you, and what I know. I'm sure that's simply my duty. Oh, are you planning to go on ahead? If you are, I'll accompany you. A good uncle should protect girls, you know. Okay, so now I'm supposed to not go there yet. But... Go show Yuzu her mirror, I think? Let's, uh, let's try to do that, maybe. And does that mean they're both gonna be next to me during that time? Because that's gonna be fun. <laughs> A little weird, but, but fun. Okay, we unlocked the mystery key. Or we unlocked it with the mystery key. Now, oh, there's a pink teddy bear. Cute. So, the teddy bear stands with brown eyes. Um, he left, actually, Ryotaro, or whatever his real name is. Or, yeah, I guess I called him that because that's the only name I knew. I I'm not sure if that's actually his name or not. I didn't pay enough attention. <laughs> anyway, now we can tell Yuzu that we saw one of her mirrors. And we're gonna lead her to it. Yeah, he's back there. Huh? Another one of my mirrors? This makes three. Feels like the finale. Leave me there right away. If we're together, even those realms won't scare me. Okay, she always says that. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see how her story ends, I guess. Okay, Yuzu, let's go. Seems a little different from the others, like the atmosphere and the area. I never would have found this place myself, even after literally years. Look, let's cut the chatter. I'm just too worked up. Let's go for it. Yep. If, hypothetically, I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. A few days ago, the body of Utsuro Hinohara was found in Mirror Lake. Of course. Why? Why did Utsuro... No, it hasn't been enough. We didn't spend enough time together. Has Hanasaki seemed gloomier lately? I mean, she got along with Hinohara, so I can understand being depressed, but... It's not that kind of gloominess, it's like... The local library isn't enough. They don't have books on this stuff. I need... Seances, necromancy, it all lacks credibility. I don't want this fake occult nonsense. Yuzu, have you been going to class? If I open the gate this way... Today marks a year to the day. Wait for me, Utsuro. I've been studying up this past year. And now, I'm going to meet you. 
So that was her wish. Yep. I remember it all, how I died, my wish, and everything else. Of course, there's no such thing as black magic. I must have been on the brink, huh? Whew, I'm kind of exhausted getting all those memories dumped on me. Once I've sorted things out some more, I'll tell you my history and my wish, Mishiro. Oh, are you going to go up ahead? Take me with you if you do. I feel like there's something very important to this world up ahead. Okay. So... Now. Now we need to show each one of them their final place. So, let's go for it. Huh. Someone's there. You're... Once there was a painter. He was known as the Mad Genius. Dinzo Usui. Huh? You know my grandpa? Wait, Mishiro, it looks like maybe she isn't aware of us. Dinzo had a wife, but he also had a relationship with a servant. With his wife, he had a child, Shinji. With the servant, he had a child, Tamaki. Wait. Wait. That is... Wait. <laughs> I don't remember who that is. I read this name before so much. Dinzo's two children, born of different mothers. Wait. Tamaki was in someone's mirror, right? Huh? Tamaki was the illeg illegitimate child of an affair, but because Shinji showed no interest in art, Dinzo's affection was often directed at Tamaki, who did have an interest in the arts. Tamaki learned art from me Dinzo, and given deep love, grew in the shadow of the Usui family. But these irregular days couldn't last. When Tamaki turned 12, Dinzo's wife learned of her existence. Dinzo divorced his wife, but gave Tamaki and her mother the same love as ever. Thus far, no tragedy had occurred. But when Tamaki turned 18, Dinzo made an unforgivable mistake. He had a le... le yeah, with Tamaki, his own daughter, and it impregnated her. Whoa. Yeah. Tamaki was deeply wounded and feared Dinzo. And with her mother, she fled from him. But the child she bore had done no wrong, so she decided to birth the child of her father. So Tamaki had a daughter. A daughter between parent and child? Tamaki thought she couldn't live a normal, happy life, but luckily two years later she had a proper marriage. Safely having a son with her husband, Tamaki began to get back on her feet. However, she never fully did. The mental wounds Tamaki had suffered went even deeper than she imagined. When her now-grown daughter with Dinzo began doing art at school, Tamaki's old wounds ached. It gave her flashbacks of Dinzo, of that fear she had of him. Tamaki struggled to give her daughter affection. It took all she had not to take out negative emotions on her. Tamaki's mind quickly crumbled under the weight. And one day, Tamaki killed her daughter. Oh great! Tamaki fell to pieces. She came to feel animosity, not only toward Dinzo, but all the Osuis. Unable to see any hope ahead, she fell upon the despair behind. Dinzo died of natural causes a few years later, and while she had the right to, do, to his inheritance, she refused to take it. She wouldn't even let it go to the eldest son, Shinji. Then at least Tamaki, who had kept living despite having broken long ago, met her end. When she learned the son she had with her husband was becoming friends with Shinji's daughter. You mean... Tamaki tried to take out Shinji's daughter, the Yusui who dared come near come near her pure son, but when she drove madly down the road to kill her, she ran over her own son by mistake. Oh my god. Tamaki realized that this was the end, so she took her own life to escape the despair. No way, that's so messed up. That woman's soul is now bound here, and like the other souls, the world is forcing her to be here. Tamaki's soul is now bound in death, so that she can't escape, but must face the facts. This is surely my pun punishment. Oh, that's her? 
Wait, <laughs> I don't know. I've gone on for a while. I can't see or hear you, but I know you're there. I don't know who you are, but go now. Let's go, Mishiro. We shouldn't stay here any longer. Well, bunch of reveals. I'm not sure I got everything that was said. Because I haven't played this game in a while, but... But, whoa, so she ran over her own son, who was Ayato, obviously. She returned to the usual place with Tamaki's story. I've realized something. Huh? You found a similar place past a mirror with Yotaro's memories? I see, then you should go there first. What I have to say can wait. 